Hey, Shoopy Doodles, and welcome to Draw Stuff Real Easy. And today, I'm going to show you how to draw George Washington. But let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Draw Stuff Real Easy. Oh, my goodness. Drawing people is really, really difficult, especially if you want them to look like they do. <laughs> and I think if you're... Uh, using dollars every day then you know what George Washington looks like because he's on the dollar bill um, and I'm trying to get this right so this is kind of I think maybe I'll make that slightly narrower there it's kind of not quite squares and I'm going to draw a little curve down like that then his hair will come down to there and then we want round about there this is kind of where his eyebrow then comes out like that and comes into the eye and then it's going to come around and down and then we want the chin just coming slightly below the line and then his uh, chin coming up there and then we've got this kind of <laughs> fluffy hairdo of his and then that's going to come round about like that and it's quite sort of thin on there and then kind of a little couple of bulges like that now his other eyebrow is going to be curving around like that let's see what we can do with this in ink um i'm going to just kind of draw his forehead coming around there and then the chin and then the chin and then a bit of a curly kind of line coming down there we're going to go up and across like that and then up and around like that for his other eyebrow now he has quite a chunky nose <laughs> And I think I think maybe when he was in the army in his younger days or something, he might have ended up in a brawl or something, got his nose broken. Maybe in a boxing match or something, a manly boxing match. They say he was a very striking looking man. So now for the eyes here, we're going to go kind of up and down like that. And then we want the eyeball there and then the eyelid like that and then here with the eye on this side we want to see the eyeball kind of like that coming down there and then we also want an eyelid above it like that now it's very funny because I've kind of drawn this quite a few times in practice <laughs> and each time it I'm never quite happy with him but suddenly I feel I've almost kind of got something of him this time so I'm just going to kind of draw a little kind of curly I'm not doing anything special for the hair it's just a kind of a hair effect like that around about here this is going to come down into his cravat which will go to about there and then we need to draw something like that and here on the other side so this is kind of wrapped around his neck and right let's do the collar now so from this side the collar is going to come down into a little kind of cut there and then there and across to his shoulders and down his cravat is all tied up in a bit of kind of frou frou -ness like that. <laughs> a bit of fanciness. And then we can kind of bring the cravat down to there. And then we need the collar on the other side. Going down there. And then we can draw the rest of his shoulder there. When you are sure that the ink is dry, then erase all those pencil lines so people won't know how you worked it out <laughs> they'll think you're incredibly clever i'm going to put a bit of shading in just around there and maybe a bit of shading in underneath his chin 
I'm going to shade in just underneath his eyebrow. If there are any other historical figures you'd like me to draw for your homework or school projects, then put your suggestions in the comments box below and I'll see what I can do. And finally, I think I'm just going to put a little bit of shading here. You can do this in pencil or whatever you like, uh, just down there. Well, thanks for watching. Please like this video and make sure you are subscribed to the Draw Stuff Real Easy channel and why not like my Facebook page too? Put your drawing idea requests in the comments box below and remember to keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.